Hello, all I'm sugar girl Tiffany, my malicious black beauty, your primitive psychic Pisces, high priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as the mo your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading can apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. So with that being said, guys, we are going to get started. Um, I do hope everyone is doing well and feeling well on tonight. Um, real quick, guys, we're going to clear, cleanse and clear the energy. Okay, at this time, Spirit, I would ask you to block, bind, and rebuke any evil, wicked, demonic entity, entities, deities, persons, places, or things who uh, may be trying to block this message or the truth or clarity from coming out. So I'm on Okay, guys. So let's get started. Also, guys, real quick, this is going to be um, another taboo reading, okay? Um, it may be kind of explicit or um, erotic or sexual in nature. So if you do not want to hear those type of things, you don't like those type of things, those things disturb you in some type of way, then this may not be the reading for you to listen to, okay? Thank you. Okay, so the first message you have here is sex with the right person can be addictive and very much fulfilling. The next message you have here is transsexual, okay? Um, uh, this transsexual may still have their penis, okay? Somebody is transsexual though, okay? Whether they, when they transform from male to um woman or from woman to male someone is transsexual we have here nothing is sexier than someone who desires and craves only you and no one else ultimate climax he wants you to ring his bell okay so this is this transsexual is naturally born male although they are transsexual the transsexual still have their penis though okay um and we have here shouldn't you be in my bed okay so those are your messages okay for this reading we're going to see what else is going on here with you all okay Let's see what other messages we get here. So we're going to start with, um, we're going to get some further clarification for the situation. Let's start with sex with the right person can be addictive and very much fulfilling. <laughs> we have here, she says she got a 10 inch. Okay, so whoever this transsexual is um, has a 10 inch penis. It's very clarifying. Um, transsexual. We have new love here, so um, this could be someone new coming into your life, someone new that you're meeting, or someone new that if this transsexual is actually listening, this may be you meeting someone new, okay? Spirit clarified, nothing is sexier than someone who desires, uh, desires and craves only you, no one else. We have I like you. To clarify ultimate climax, we have passion here. To clarify, um, he wants you to ring his bell. Let's see. So transsexual wants to come out again, but we literally already have transsexual here. So let's see the secret hidden message. Um, yeah, but we already know this. Okay, so I already told you all this. Um, we have transsexual on one side and the other sides, but not fully. She still has hard dick though. Okay, so I already told you all that, which we know that because she said she got a 10 inch. Okay. So let's clarify, shouldn't you be in my bed? 
somebody feels love at first sight for someone perhaps whoever uh um this transsexual uh is uh felt love at first sight for someone or someone could feel this way about this person here okay so that's what's going on here guys uh Let's dive in. Let's see what else is here, okay? Spirit clarify, uh, sex with the right person can be addictive and very much fulfilling. So we have the sun here, okay? So this talks about happiness, abundance, new beginnings, fresh starts, um, intimacies, um, Harmony with someone, newness, love, passion, romance, peace of mind, amusement, creativity, fun, excitement, all the things that falls under the sun here, okay? So either Spirit is saying that either you or this person desire this, okay? But you all coming together would bring about happiness and abundance, it seems, for the both of you all. Spirit, so clarify transsexual and... Um, new love somebody is lonely somebody could currently be single I see my if not now then when card here okay so it's like uh, somebody may have been contemplating um being with a transsexual was like somebody could be like secretly attracted to a transsexual or um, vice versa. Okay, so we have here if not now then when? What I just seen here? Okay, spirit, clarify this uh, transsexual and new love. So this says progress, not perfection. Strive to be the greatest version of yourself. You are the best. Keep up the good work and never give up. Continue uh, to get better and better here, okay? So to clarify, nothing is sexier uh, than someone who desires and craves you No one and no one else. So we have here, uh, keep smiling. You are braver than you believe, smarter or stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think here, okay? So somebody could be um, very attractive or something. So we're clear by ultimate climax and passion. Somebody may be karmic though. Y'all might be a little toxic for one another. Um, so we have the LGBT community lovers card here. This is the lovers card, but this lets us know that this person is a part of the LGBT community here, which we clearly already know here. Somebody has a lot of passion for you. Somebody, um, spirit is saying that there will be a lot of passion in the situation. There will be ultimate climax, um, for the both of you are in this situation, um, as well. Okay, guys. Spirit clarify, he wants you to ring his bell. But you know what? I'm sitting up here thinking the transgender person, transgender woman may want this. The person that's attracted to this person may want this too. Like, mm -hmm. okay, we'll see. Um, so we have here the match. It's interesting because I also see here, okay, I guess that's the next card here. So we have the match here, okay? Um, this says love at first sight, match made in heaven here. Somebody wants to be coupled with you, wants to date you, wants to be in a relationship with you. Um, lover's lane type of energy possibly leading into more. Somebody definitely wants to come together as one. Somebody feels like you all would be a good match with one another, okay? We also have here, this is the caffeinated here, okay? But you see this masculine energy on here. Somebody drinks a lot of caffeine, um, whether it's coffees, teas, um, energy drinks, something, or sodas or something. Somebody likes a lot of caffeine. Somebody is a manly man type of person. Um, they may lift weights or be kind of muscular or cut up a little bit, okay? This person could be, um, 
uh, a businessman, uh, maybe construction worker. This person may like to hunt or do things outside. This could be, uh, this person could be a handsy man. Um, he could be a little bit temperamental, maybe possessive at times here. He's an outdoor type of, uh, type of guy here, okay? He can come off as a little harsh or a tough guts and can have an attitude at times here, okay? Or even come off as a little controlling or strong, but he's hardworking, okay? He's a beer kind of guy. He may like liquor from time to time, but he's definitely a beer kind of guy here, okay? Um, but we have here, shouldn't you be in my bed, love at first sight here, okay? So either the transgender is feeling this way about this man, or this man is feeling this way about this transgender, okay? That's what's going on here, honey. Okay. Let's see what else is going on. Just a minute, guys. I'm going to get another deck here. Let's see what other messages Spirit has for you all. One more shuffle, please, Spirit. I see um, sweet dreams at the bottom of the deck here. Somebody, like, dreams about you. Like, somebody goes to sleep thinking about you. Like, they may have, like, little wet dreams or something about you. So, to clarify, sex with the right person can be addictive. So, we have blessing here. Some, I mean, you all may be a blessing to each other or in each other's life, but this blessing, it talks about fulfillment, well-being, as well as enlightenment here, okay? I feel like you all will be able to make each other happy. Spirit, clarify transsexual, new love and progress, not perfection. Transsexual, new love. So somebody like really cares for somebody here. Somebody could also be a parent though. Um, somebody, but this also says patron and support. So somebody is just like really, somebody just really care for someone and want to show them some type of support or show them that they care. Okay. So you're clarified nothing is sexier than someone who desires and craves only you, no one else. So somebody definitely someone definitely like wants some type of alliance with you in some type of way. This is trust, honesty, and compatibility. So you all could be very compatible. This person definitely really likes you. Um I also see indulgence here. This is here on Climax Passion with the LGBT Community Lovers card here. Okay, so this talks about interactions, joy, as well as friendliness with one another. For clarify, he wants you to ring his bell with um, love at first sight. Or the match card actually we have eternal love here okay so um this may turn into something long term for you all if, if this situation actually comes together so this talks about eternity this talks about uh um, consistency as well as soulmate type of energy here okay shouldn't you be in my bed oh shouldn't you be in my bed Somebody may be a homosexual. That's like actually a thing, guys. I'm like not being funny. Somebody might be a homosexual. I see homeless here. Um, this person doesn't necessarily have to be homeless. Somebody may just kind of be in poverty or poor. Um, somebody may be like a castaway or feel like a failure or may have, you know, failed in their life. Um... But somebody is attracted to someone, to this person. I see fright here. Somebody could be frightened to be in this type of relationship here. Yeah, I see fright, stop, and conflict here. Somebody may be fighting like their true feelings and desires here. This fright talks about depression, phobias, and uh, paranoia. Okay, the stop says break, pause, and stagnation, as well as conflict talks about differences, uh, uh, dispute. 
or quarrel here. So it's like somebody is really attracted to someone. I feel that like the other person may be attracted to this person as well. Like if they know each other. Um, but there may be some type of conflict here. Okay. Like somebody might be in denial about their sexuality. Probably this uh, more masculine of a man here. Okay. There's some type of, I don't know. There's something maybe that frightened them about the situation. Um, they may be trying to stop these feelings or whatever. Um... And there could have even been a conflict between these people here, the, the two of them. Or something, or like this may be conflict within their self. Somebody is definitely wearing a mask though, okay? Somebody is not who they appear to be. They're hiding something about themselves, okay? Um... One of, one of these people could be openly who they are, which is probably the transgender, and the other person may not be, okay? Uh, this mask card says deception, pretending, or inconsistencies. Yeah. Mm. I also see aid and justice here. A talks about uh, mercy, charity, or kindness here, okay, as well. With, with justice being here, <clears throat> this masculine man, this, uh, hold on guys, somebody don't want me to say this. This masculine, the one who is like, you know, actually lives their life as a man, he's a, he's a, he's a police officer. This is the reason why he's he's hesitant. Like I feel like he he's attracted to transgenders. Um, he may ha uh, have this transgender and this guy may have even been sexual before. That's the reason why we have fright, stop, and conflict here. Okay, um, this person is definitely scared to death about coming out. Okay, they're trying to stop some type of feelings that they have. This conflict, they either this person because if you look at this conflict card, this is like two guys fighting. Okay. Um, but this transgender is like, shouldn't you be in my bed? Like, you know, you know, we should be together. It was like love at first sight for the, the transgender here. But this guy here is like, he's, 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 he works for the justice system. If he's not a police officer, he definitely works for the government here in some type of way. Okay. Police officers, what came out first, I believe this person may be a police officer, but they could literally have any type of government position here. They're not open with their sexuality. This is the reason why this person is wearing a mask, okay? But with this aid here, this kindness, this person, either this transgender has been kind to him or he has been secretly kind to this person here, okay? But because of his position, uh, his job, his career, his, his lifestyle or, you know, whatever, He's wearing this mask. He's hiding who he really is, what he really likes, what really turns him on here, okay? That's what's going on, guys. <laughs> yeah, the first card that flipped over was truth here. Spirit is saying what I just told you is the truth. It's clarity here, okay? Like, there is... Uh, there's a police officer out here who is attracted to transgenders, um... Just don't mind sexually being involved with transgenders secretly, but they're like scared to death of this being found out or them being open with this. Because like I said, with this, he's a manly man type of guy, okay? This guy could be cut up, he could be buff, he, you know, walks like a guy, acts like a guy, talks like a guy, macho man type of guy, you know what I'm saying? Or what have you. But this this relationship is actually fulfillment of wish for him, for the both of them. Okay, but you have one person who's open and another who's in denial. Or either somebody, somebody desires them. I keep seeing feminine here though. For a few of you, there could be a transgender who is attracted to a feminine energy. Just like off-key, just side note here. 
There's a transgender out there who's attracted to a feminine. There is also a feminine or, or uh, yeah, a feminine stud who is attracted to a transsexual. Oh, shit. Y'all too much for me, honey. Okay. But there's, like, traction. Like, this attraction, like, is on fire, honey. It is hot. This is Mars energy. What you talking about? Mm -mm. Y'all too much. Too much, okay? Somebody is, like, this is receive and open. It's, like, somebody is open to being a part of something or you know being about this lifestyle like but like i'm telling you like somebody got a huge ego this is ego vanity and pride here they know this is what turns them on this is what they like this is what they want here but like yeah we got party at the bottom of the deck somebody could have met somebody at a party here but there's some type of just harmony triggers or conflict that's going on that's keeping Y'all for coming together. Mm -mm. Okay. So for the majority in this situation, this is a transgender um, who is really attracted to this police officer. That is this manly man type of guy. Or he's either a police officer, but he definitely have a government job. I heard police officer first, okay? Um... And he's like in fright trying to stop something in conflict with either this person or just his sexuality in general. Um, and then we also have the side note energy here. There is a stud and a transsexual uh, who is attracted to each to each other. So this transsexual has not changed though. This is still a, a man who has transformed to a woman. He lived their life like a woman. He still has his penis though. Okay. But there's a stud, there's a transsexual and a stud who has attraction to each other. And there's a transsexual who is attracted to a woman. Okay? A biologically born woman who lives their life as a woman. And then the other transsexual uh, is attracted to a woman as well. But that woman is a stud and actually lived their life as a lesbian. But they are secretly bi because they're actually secretly pansexual okay one would look at it as them being secretly bi because the transsexual will still have the dick so technically you know this this stud who's living their life as a lesbian they get they they like intercourse okay so they're they're being penetrated by this transsexual as well you know whatever but technically that would make them pansexual because a pansexual a lot of people found upon pansexual pansexual is not you screwing animals okay that's bestiality okay pansexual is not um you being a predator and preying upon young people that's something else okay a pansexual is somebody who would be intimate with or fall in love with or be in a relationship with any sexual Okay, any one of the sexuals, okay, so um, uh, a pansexual uh, would have sex or being in love with, with somebody who is heterosexual, with somebody who is bisexual, with somebody who is transsexual, with somebody who is a hormorphodite, with somebody who is, you know, any one of the sexuals, okay, that's all pansexual mean, they're open to loving, they just look at people as people, so, you know, whether you are, um, a, a one, they can fall in love with a woman, they can fall in love with a man, they can fall in love with a woman who is transformed to a man, they can fall in love with a man who is transformed to a woman, they can fall in love with a, a hermaphrodite who uh, may look like a woman but was also born with a penis, or may look like a man but was born with a vagina. You understand what I'm saying? It's like that. It's like, it's, it's, it's really nothing just like extremely gross or disgusting about pansexuality it's just that you love people for people but it's it's you know what i'm saying it's it's not one of the off the deep end far-fetched taboos like you like dressing like furry animals and you know and you have attraction to your pets or some shit you're into bc like you know what i'm saying these are far-fetched as um 
fantasies that other people have. Pansexual is not like that. Pansexual is your love for people, no matter who those people are. You understand what I'm saying? Um, so they, they can fall along the line of any sexual, okay, is what pansexual means, okay? A lot of people hear pansexual, like, oh my God, you're a freak, you're nasty, you know, like, you, and don't understand the shit that they're saying. Um, that's why people need to be careful how they label people. Like, it's a lot of people who um, throw pedophilia around on a lot of people. And people need to really understand what they're saying about people. Pedophiles like children, babies, from anywhere from their infancy to elementary school children, okay? Um, persons, uh, older persons who um, get involved in, in situations uh, with persons who are younger than them, but still like under the age of 18, technically in a court of law, they would not even be called a pedophile. It would be called statutory rape, okay? Um, which technically, I don't know why the rape would be on there because most statutory situations is consensual. It's just the age difference. You understand what I'm saying? So... Even according to law, even what is written in law, what a person would be charged with should, should they had to face a situation like that, it would not be called pedophile. Like pedophiles, like literally like kids, like babies, undeveloped as small beings that shouldn't even be looked at. Like, like you understand what I'm saying? But people just throw anything the hell around, um about anybody okay you, you know what i'm saying what i'm saying like a rapist is called a rapist you understand what i'm saying but raping um a person in a statutory uh situation is not the same thing as say a rapist okay a rapist go and take whatever from whomever you understand what i'm saying they're actually taking something they're forcing themselves upon them somebody that's why it's called rape okay a statutory situation is is actually a um consenting was a consenting situation from both parties nobody forced themselves on each other it just happened to be an age difference okay uh pedophilia is actually someone who is preying upon little tiny children okay who don't know any better who oftentimes don't know how to say no or don't know what's going on or being done to them and they're being manipulated that's what that is people need to learn their definitions and before they start spewing out shit because it's even a lot of people who say you know you know like will literally slander people by name okay and it oftentimes it happened a lot of time especially people who are like um you know um maybe celebrities or people who are like well known or in power or wealthy and different that and just slap labels on somebody or what have you just because of something that either you don't understand or don't have all the information about or whatever but all of those terms have a different meaning for it for a damn reason okay and you know what i'm saying regardless to how you feel if if something there was a crime that anybody committed according to law what one would be charged with a lot of times it's not even what how y'all be slandering people and shit y'all be saying about people like people just get the popping off at the mouth and saying shit about people and you don't even know what the hell you're talking about but a lot of people judge things that they don't understand people hear pansexual and it's like oh my god you're a freak you're nasty you're awful you don't even understand what the hell a pansexual is You've never even said, you just know it's different. All you know is you're fucking heterosexual and that's what you believe in. That's what you like and that's perfectly fine. But you hear any other type of sexual and they got to be some type of super fucking freak. Now, you know, when you get into other shit, I totally get it. You understand if you're somebody who likes screwing animals and different things, okay, this is called bestiality, okay? You wouldn't call, you wouldn't, a person who is into that, you wouldn't, you wouldn't say, oh my God, you rapists of animals, you, you know, however you may see it, it would still be called bestiality. You understand even a chargeable offense, if this person was caught, uh, 
doing some type of cruelty to animals by doing that this is a, a chargeable offense in a court of law but even in the court of law they would not be called a fucking rapist okay so what you can't do is go and slander this person name oh you rapist and this person is you know bestiality is still like it's it's awful it's weird you know it's it's nasty it's you know a lot of people frown upon it okay you don't have to be a part of it. You don't have to like it. But it's a whole lot of people in the world that's into a whole lot of shit. You understand what I'm saying? Um, it's, you know, you, people's in all, all kinds of shit. You understand what I'm saying? There's people who like dressing up like a whole latex-ass condom. They got fetishes with leather and dressing all leather and, 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 and do one another, okay? There is, have any of y'all ever seen, you remember the show that used to come on, on cable a long time ago? It's called Real Sex. I used to watch real sex, like, but you could learn from real sex. There was like some weird situations that would come on on there, but it was like, it taught you things. And even though it was sexually explicit things that you was looking at, it taught you things in a very subtle, like learning type of way. Like it wasn't like um, slutty, nasty, trashy, like how you may see porn even though you may be looking at butt naked people doing some weird things that you've never seen before okay like you've got people that's into some weird shit some people have such a fascination with animals they're not into bestiality but they like the feel of fur and different things so they have these clubs and these groups where they will dress up like their favorite animal characters and you know they meet up together and they literally what lesbians call hunching or, or grinding or scissoring or what they literally would like do what animals do rub up against each other and, and hop on each other like that and it's, it's it's really weird they're not actually having actual physical sex with one another some of them may but it's it's the feel of fur and different things that turn them on these people climax while doing this okay you'll be surprised what turn people on okay you got all kinds of people to is this into all kinds of things okay I mean you know somewhere somewhere you you got men who like being dominated by women you like you got people who like dressing up like babies and you know have these mommy mistress says you know type of things or whatever they want their lover to treat to be like their mother and they want to act like the baby like you got people who are into all type of stuff okay just i mean people need to be careful with the shit that they're throwing around and they're saying about people and because of some shit you don't understand or whatever people just kind of throw whatever around and say the most degrading the most low thing that you can say about someone when the fly monkeys get to flying around and, and throwing their judgments upon people but yeah this is what's going on so this situation is i i said all that to say that there could be like a pansexual situation that's going on because there's a there's a female who is a stud okay but her and this transgender are actually like they either already got something going on or they have a liking for each other or what have you but there's also a transsexual who uh is into a female okay and then you have the transsexual who is um really into this guy but he's a cop here that's the overall story that we have here guys okay so that was just a little breakdown of titles this is why i don't like titles but you know everybody like titles okay just like i don't even like how they like they're doing extra shit nowadays with even breaking down the lgbtq plus plus ai and you know what i'm saying ia or whatever else you know what i'm saying in a minute it's just going to be the whole damn alphabet just 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 put the whole alphabet in there just make it all rainbow okay and just call it what the hell you want to call it but anyway so somebody wants to express their love here okay spirit is saying go ahead and make the romantic gesture here um I do feel like I even see this could be the one romantic feelings past life relationship like th these two actually have a bond with one another but it's like one is open and the other is not okay pay attention to the red flags let your friends help you calling in your soulmate okay spirit what's the overall energy here 
there may be some type of reconciliation between you all if you all have had like some type of fallout with one another yeah i see reconciliation and very soon here okay someone from your past is re returning to your life here okay so y'all may have taken some type of brief break from one another here mainly because of this guy here who is like this cop okay he's like you know he's, he's he tried to like stop uh, his feelings or, you know, the situation here because of him being frightened of being found out or, or something like that or whatever. So there was some type of conflict here. But this says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This is very soon. So there's going to be some type of reconciliation here. Bottom of the deck, we have make the effort. This says great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take here. Okay. So that's what's going on, y'all. Let's see what other messages we have here for this situation. And it's very interesting, though, like, um, when I came out, when I first came out, because I was a part of the LGBT community at one point in time, I came out when I was like, I think I was like in... Probably like 8th grade when I came out, so I was like... Uh, like, I don't know, I was either like 12, 13, something like that, 13, 14, something like that when I came out or whatever, but, um, I was groaning on my own by the time I was like around 16, 17, between 16, 17, something like that, so like, cause I, um, started going out, like to the clubs when I was like 16 years old, okay? My very first, um, like, real, real relationship with somebody of the same sex, this person was um, 31, and I was, like, 16, 16, 17 years old, something like that. Yeah, like, 16. But, um, and that was forced, that wasn't, you know, awful, like, that would be frowned upon or whatever, but I was totally doing what I wanted to do and being grown and, you know, whatever, however you want to look at it, okay, everybody got a pass, okay, so, um, that's just me being honest with you all or whatever, and to be quite honest, I didn't even tell the person just how old I was at the time, like, when we first met, so, like, you know, I would never be the type of person that make, it some, make somebody seem like, oh my God, you know, they were awful and forced me into something or no shit like that. It was never that, okay? Um, but anyway, I said that to say, because when I, when I started going out, I was like, I was like flabbergasted, okay? Because like, um, in, in my day, when I came out, like it was, it was frowned upon, like the, um, there was very few people like what they called they called lesbians back then bull dykas, okay and what i seen of the lesbians these were always like the biker looking chicks <laughs> you know the big butch they either call them butches or bull dykas, okay which is totally frowned upon today and what we knew about gay they would call you know um the p word or the f word pump fat you know like that or whatever uh, which is totally frowned upon today and those were those were the the feminine of the guys like over the years it totally changed up because i mean like you got gay guys now who you know what i'm saying very attractive look like you know real ass men buff they play basketball they be hanging with the dudes and everything you was and you, you look at them and be like what so like sometime between the 90s and the 2000s Everybody found out about them, and it was like, it was just a trip of the switch. But anyway, so when I first started going out or whatever, I used to be, um, I used to see all kinds of people. Because I told you all before, there was a couple that used to come, this one guy, he was a Caucasian guy. He was actually really cute in drag, and he used to make a lot of money. He used to come to the club and perform, but he used to always come with a woman. And then I finally figured out that this was his wife, and she was in support of him. He wasn't gay, but he did like dressing in drag. And they would come on the weekends for him to perform, and he would make, they would make a shitload of money and leave together, and they was totally married. And there was another thing I seen, which was like, it was really a trip to see back then because not only was this an interracial couple, which I was like, okay, that is, that's cute. But 
something I had never seen before. Both of them were actually studs. So, like, they were, like, um, you know, like, knocking down the doors of, 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 um, I'm not even sure how, how I, I'm trying to say it, okay? Because, you know, even then, it seemed like a lot of people was like, you know, if you if people were in interracial relationships, but people would still kind of be like, hmm, you know, if you were in an interracial relationship, but you almost never. Like, it's nothing for two feminine women to be like, um, it's always never been nothing for two feminine women to be sexually intimate with one another most guys have a fantasy of, of seeing two women together or whatever if not wanting to join so that's always been something that's like been like some type of sex appeal but even growing up i noticed that feminine women most feminine women they get with studs okay because they still want somebody to play that manly role they're the feminine in the relationship but women women don't even have to have a title they don't have to be in a relationship together you can get a group of best friends who have a girls night and they go out and they be like grinding all over each other all on the dance floor okay they'll get them a room together and have them a little pussy powwow and in every last one of them can have a boyfriend not one of them can be lesbian but they would kiss each other make out with each other fill up each other grind each other so it's always been a thing for women but it just kind of don't go that way for men if you're doing all that with them if you're a man and you're doing all that with a man you're gay you know what i'm saying so it's always been like that but i always thought that i, was, I thought that was really neat like when i first seen them because they were an interracial couple but it was the first time i ever had seen two studs together okay because everything in life just seems so made up like you usually see fish you know feminine fish is what we call feminine women and studs is what we call the 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 dominant you know women okay that likes the women okay you normally see feminine women with studs or what have you but every once in a while like you have some people i used to be so surprised when you i would be two feminine women who's in a relationship together or even two studs and, and you still can barely see it now but the one thing that like i admired about the the caucasian people who are gay are totally different than african-american people who are gay and you would think like they are all because they're lesbians or gays or whatever they will all be the same but how they feel about relationship is totally different i noticed that and like it's like for caucasian gay people it's like love is love so if if both of you are feminine and you end up falling in love then it is what it is or both of you are kind of dominant or masculine in some type of way then it is what it is or whatever but it just don't even really be like that all the time when it comes to like um african-american people or whatever and i also noticed that like caucasians they like put like usually put like a lot of heart a lot of passion into their relationships even with um gay relationships or lesbian relationships okay um african-americans almost seem like it's one big party it's one big orgy or something and like back then when you go to the club if back then we went to the club like every freaking weekend every like friday saturday um thursday friday saturday sometimes like there, there was always something going on the last thursday of the month but fridays and saturdays for sure and there were some places that was jumping on sundays back then or whatever it just kind of depends but i kid you not from weekend to weekend you were liable to see somebody with somebody different that by that next weekend or something like that there was very few people where they was like there was longevity in their relationship but it only went on for so long okay and then you know you happen to see them again run them across them again and they're with somebody else okay like you know and it just be it be so much drama but it used to be so much fun though so i'm not like downing african-american people who are like lesbian or gays but it'd be like that okay like you you never know a fight liable to break out okay one of the one of the drag queen honey one of the transgenders these chicks they always got blades and they wigs and shit be ready for some shit to pop off ready to cut a bitch okay um, like it, 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 it'll get crazy. Okay. But like, if you go to a predominantly, um, 
Caucasian gay club is just totally different. You can just like really have a good time, really have fun without anybody fighting or getting cut or the police getting called or some type of shit. It's just a different experience, but it's both fun. But I just kind of noticed this like when I was way younger. But anyway, guys. I said all that to say that sometimes it's just a difference in relationships here, okay? And I guess now people are like, um, like trying to like integrate into other things now because as of right now, when people think of transgenders, even people look at transgenders like they are only attracted to men, but transgenders can be attracted to women too transgenders can be attracted to men just because a person decides that they want to be transgender it actually technically doesn't even necessarily mean that they want to be gay most of them yeah okay but maybe not all of them okay I mean, because look at, uh, what's her name, uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Everybody probably was surprised when Bruce transformed to Caitlyn, but she went on to, like, everybody probably thought they were like, mm, okay, well, he was probably in the closet this whole time. He gonna get him a boyfriend now, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. But Caitlyn actually had a girlfriend. Like, I don't know if they, like, you know went as far as to get married or whatever but i do know he was like couples with somebody for whatever so you know people probably were surprised like that so like not all transgenders um desire to have a man like they might but they might not you know what i'm saying so it's just like different things that's going on or whatever but um it's still kind of hush though because for some reason studs studs who are actually bisexual they still having a hard time with coming out and letting it know be known that they are bisexual they live they still put on this charade and and like they're just lesbian but y'all will be surprised as to how many studs are actually bisexual okay and they do that shit in secret and like some of them if you don't see them all the time like some of them i run into like studs like i have long gaps of time go by and i see them again and you didn't had a whole baby like what the fuck happened i thought we would you know like like what happened you know what i'm saying but um but that's not all studs but it's a lot of studs that y'all be very surprised who are actually bisexual but for some reason they i don't know why they feel shame to like let it be known that they're actually bisexual i guess because they look like one of the guys and they act like one of the guys or whatever they think like the lgbt community is going to frown upon them for but you you would still be like the b is still in lgbtq you don't understand what i'm saying so but yeah, it seems as if like there's a lot of other relationships. You see a lot more feminists together now who are relaxed with being together now or whatever. But it seems like people are like integrating into other type of love situations, even if they look different outwardly type of thing is basically what I'm saying here, guys. Okay. So anyway, we have here date. Okay, so this says meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan, set a date here, okay? And I also see mask here, okay? So not showing their true feelings, hiding, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting here. I feel like this is going on with whoever this officer is, okay? I feel like they maybe have gone on a date before. They've maybe even done a mess around with each other before. But this guy here who thinks he's a manly man type, he's wearing a mask, okay? He's hiding who, he's really, who he really is. But the, the tripped out thing about this, look at this. Twin flame soulmates wedding bells is sticking out with Cupid's arrow here, okay? So both of them have been shot by Cupid. They both, whatever the hell they got going on behind the scenes in the bedroom, whether this is a situation that has happened yet or not, it's like explosive. It's to the likes of which that neither one of them have had before. But it's like one of them is wearing a mask, okay? And it's going to be standoffish from this situation. If both of them got with the program, it literally would be eternal love. I kid you not. They are an actual match. Their twin flames are soulmates and the situation would lead to marriage in some type of way. Or whatever is what Spirit is saying. It's the truth. That's clarity. But like somebody is like totally in denial um because of their position their title their role or what have you um hopefully this whoever this 
manly man guy here who works for the justice system in some type of way or the government in some type of way don't have a family somebody does have children though somebody has a child i believe he may have a child but um this transgender could have had a child before he decided to transform okay somebody has a child though and somebody is very caring still very caring and loving and there for their child or you know willing to care and love for their person and their child or whatever but this person here is like really bullheaded like about you know the situation okay guys we're gonna get some tarot we're gonna wrap this reading up Okay, spirit. So sex with the right person can be addicting. Somebody could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Sex with the right person can be addicting. Yeah, somebody... Somebody is trying to manifest somebody in. Like, somebody really, really desires somebody. They're doing everything in their power to, like, manifest this in. But it's like somebody is afraid. Somebody is scared um, to just be themselves. Somebody else don't want to be heartbroken in the, either by putting their all into something here. But somebody's, like, manifesting the hell out of somebody. Okay. definitely feminine energy or well, definitely air energy here Aquarius, Libra, Gemini now this is the queen of swords here okay remember when I told you all there's this situation applies to a transgender that's into a masculine this is the masculine who's a manly man type who work work for the government he's a police officer or something but there's a transgender who is also um attracted to a lesbian look at that card here They're covering, their, this person is covering their genitals because they still have their penis here. But this person has breasts. You see how you can see this person's breasts and everything, but you can't really see this person. This person, this is the transgender here, okay? One of them is the transgender and one of them is a woman here. Somebody is still an air sign though. Somebody is after an emperor here, like whoever this masculine is here who works for the justice system, he's an emperor though, okay? So he's like, he's a father, he's a father figure, he's he's a boss, he holds some type of leadership or something. This is the reason why he's trying to stop his feelings and something's frightful about uh, coming out, some type of conflict here. Somebody all up in their feelings and their emotions. If this came together, it would actually be emotional fulfillment, okay? Somebody might be in hermit energy though, have gone within in some type of way. We got the hanged woman here. So somebody's just trying to hang, like hanging around, waiting to see what's going to happen in a situation here. Yeah, somebody wants a family with someone here. Happiness with someone with the Ten of Cups there. Somebody may have a family. Somebody have a... <clears throat> excuse me we also have a fire sign here this is a knight of wands you see how you see this masculine here this is clearly a man but you see how this this um this 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 woman here is turned you only see the back of her that's the transgender here okay so I feel like a lot of different, this reading is going to apply to a lot of different people. So we're probably going to get a lot of different face cards here. Thus far, we have a king of swords, a queen of swords, a knight of wands. Such so shares Aries or Leo. Yeah. Ace of swords. Spirit said that's the truth. That's clarity here. Okay. Spirit, what else is going on here? Damn. Hold on, guys. We had a card that fell. What else is going on here, Spirit? <clears throat> somebody do not want me to get this out somebody is trying to be strong though somebody is like trying to you know 
stand their ground in a situation. You see this man here, okay? He is totally into the fact that he is all up in this with this transgender here. But you see he's got his head turned. He's like he's in denial about the situation. He is like really fearful of something being found out, something getting out here. We've got the queen of coins now. Capricorn Taurus or Virgo. Feminine here. I told you we're going to get a lot of um, face cards out here. Okay, this, this reading could apply to a lot of people. Somebody's in hermit mode though. Somebody is like and closed themselves off to a situation. They've gone within. Okay about this situation so we're clarifying nothing is sexier somebody somebody is like sending somebody some type of messages though somebody want to express how they feel somebody is like sending somebody swift fast communication and messages like back to back to back in some type of way here Ten of Pentacles here, like somebody, yeah. somebody could be stable and secure, very abundant here. Somebody is working hard to to get somebody that they want here. Yeah, somebody wants success, triumph, victory with someone. Okay, like this is actually this relationship would actually be pleasing unto them, like like wish fulfillment, like fulfillment in general here. Okay. We have the devil here, honey. The devil is always in the details. Yeah. The devil with this two of cups. So these, you know, this devil energy is here with this in this two of cups situation, this relationship situation here. Okay. You see him? This is the masculine here. Okay. And this is the transgender that he is clearly all up in and into fooling with here, being a part of this relationship here. Okay. Why? Because of his temptations. Okay, maybe because of his addictions, because of these lustful desires, okay, with that devil energy there, but I was in denial about this partnership here, okay? Yeah, he's in mental conflict. This has somebody stressed out, worried, like somebody either, the, the, for the man, for this man that's a police officer, he don't want, he's scared for his children or his family to find out, um, his colleagues and, and co-workers and things to find out for the, the stud. She is afraid for people to either look at her as bisexual or look at her as uh, pansexual, okay? Um, with the feminine who's attracted to a transgender, does she feel like either the Maybe she feels like the transition is not going to like her. Or she feels like it may be an awkward relationship. That people would look at the relationship as awkward because this person is transgender. But the, whoever this is for, they're in mental conflict. They're stressed. They're depressed. They're dealing with anxiety, okay? Maybe even some sleepless nights here, okay? Somebody wants balance in this situation, though, okay? Somebody wants some type of balance in this situation, okay? Somebody is very defensive, very hostile, wants to protect themselves here as well with the nine of wands. Somebody is in nine of swords, nine of wands energy. Whoever this air sign is, well, this could really be anyone here. The, the nine of swords as air energy, nine of wands as uh, fire sign energy here. It's like somebody wants some type of balance, but... but um, they're in mental conflict and they're very defensive towards it. Somebody is stuck. I feel like they're stuck. Don't know what to do in a situation here. It's crazy. Somebody, there's somebody, there's also a lot of competition for somebody as well. There's some type of, if it's not a lot of competition, there's definitely competition here, okay? There may be some type of jealousy or envy or hatred or spitefulness or revenge in some type of way over someone because of who they desire or this couple coming together or something somebody might even currently be paying somebody to secretly be with them and you know stay in hush about 
their relations or what they got going on, okay? Because they don't want anybody to know. But with the sun here, this brings them fulfillment, great joy. Like, they are pleased to the fullest by the time they get done doing what they do, okay? Um, somebody's worried about judgment, like judgment from others. Or somebody is trying to make some type of judgment or decision about this situation. Somebody definitely wants to express their feelings and their emotions. Yeah. King of Wands here. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. So we have a... He's got a huge stick. Oh my God. Um... We have a king of swords here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, king of wands, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. We also have a queen of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, a knight of wands, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, and a queen of pentacles here, okay? So this situation could apply to any one of you all. Um, this could either be something that's already happening. It's getting ready to happen. Okay. But we got the fool here. Okay. Somebody, somebody want to take a leap of faith and, and do something or towards somebody to be with someone here. Okay. Hold on, guys. We had some cards that fell. So yeah, we got the two of swords and we got the lover. So somebody is, is, is stuck at the crossroads, stuck in indecision about what they really want, what they really desire as it relates to this love relationship here, okay? Like somebody is really into this, okay? But you see this person here, this is what they're worried about. Somebody seeing, somebody knowing, somebody lurking or what have you, but they're really pleased, by this okay for some of y'all somebody from your past could be going through this okay or something here something some somebody from your past that you had some type of completion with or ending with or that was a completion of a cycle or something here could be experiencing this right now Okay, guys, so, honey, look, that's what's going on. I didn't mean to hold y'all too long, honey. Okay? Um, let's see if there's any um, hidden truth oracle messages. Somebody, somebody, somebody wonders if you're happy without them. It says, I wonder if you're happy without me. Somebody feels somebody leaving them behind. It was my fault, but I blamed you here. So this could be for this masculine who's this police officer, especially if they this is something that's already going on and they they had some type of conflict. There was some type of argument here or something. Yeah, I couldn't let you get close to me. Somebody couldn't let you get close to them. Maybe because they're transgender or uh, because uh, of something that they had going on with someone here. I regret lying to you. Mm, just being near you is intoxicating. I guess, honey. Somebody wished they had treated you better. So if this transgender and this, um, this officer here... Um, have already been together intimately and he kind of like pushed this person away because you know he didn't want anybody to find out because of his fears of the situation or whatever they wish that they had treated you better but this person feels very intoxicated just being around this person like this person is not touched it now at the bottom of the deck we have here i will wait for a sign for you so somebody is maybe waiting for you know somebody to give them a, a sign a clue a message that you know y'all can be together or you know whatever it is that y'all trying to make happen honey okay that's what's going on here guys okay so i do hope 
that this is giving you all the truth and the clarity that you are seeking pertaining to a situation that you might be dealing with okay um y'all please like share and subscribe um for those of you who would like to contact me you can do so at tip.diamond.36 at gmail.com um you can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine right like a diamond three six with the underscore between each word. Okay, somebody is the runner. Okay, somebody has fear of intimacy, running away, uh, intensity and in letting go, turmoil and fleeting. Somebody is a runner. Somebody is running from being uh, from this situation of being with this transgender. But it would actually fulfill them. It would actually make them happy. This would actually be eternal love. This is actually their soulmate <laughs> type of thing. Wow. Sword and rose here. Clarity, truth, revelations, honor, and protection, determination. A mask. I told you somebody's wearing a mask. Hiding true feelings, pretending and delude, gaslighting and personifying. Shock here. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, and epiphanies, transformations. Okay. Somebody is grounded though. Somebody is grounded, stable, and secure. Somebody has stability and security. Um, something here is in reference to their performance. Okay, so this may have something to do with their, their work, their career, their occupation or something. This says growth and uh, endurance here. Okay. But again, yeah, honey, that's what's going on. Somebody is a runner. Somebody is a runner. Okay. Somebody don't want people to know the truth the clarity so they're wearing a mask here okay with this shock here something may happen suddenly all of a sudden out the blue there might be a sudden change or shocking news or uh, someone may be surprised or uh, you know may have some type of epiphanies or breakthroughs okay this also says transformation here okay so if you have not come into contact with this transsexual um, you may be shocked or surprised that this person likes you or wants you or desires you or something like that. You may be shocked or surprised by this, okay? Um, that's what the hook on be, child, okay? I ain't nothing but the messenger. Anyway, guys, so, um... If there's any persons who would like to donate to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you in advance. Um, you can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond three six, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at three six diamonds. Um as always, guys, y'all take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. Um, there's wickedness in high places and there's evil that's working around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch the surroundings and the company and what your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant and stay prepared because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God, honey. Some of y'all out here act like y'all are ready, honey. Y'all swear y'all want love in your life and you smooth looking over your uh your divine partner, your soul, man, honey, because it differs from your usual type, okay? So mm -hmm. some of y'all just in denial, honey. Okay. But I get it. But that's what's going on, y'all. Till the next time. Peace, love, and light. <laughs> Namaste.